What's going on guys? This is Devin Kripe with Mission Driven and today we're talking about how God is within you, right? That every single thing that you want in this entire world is already within you. What I mean by that is the thing that you're seeking from acquiring whatever accomplishment, whatever relationship, whatever uh, financial goal, whatever fitness goal, whatever you want to accomplish. The feeling, right, is what you truly are seeking. How you are going to feel once you acquire whatever milestone, whatever relationship, whatever goal that you're going after, right? But the highest levels of frequency of of emotions, right, of peace, love, right, safety, security, of uh, being unconditionally loved, right, being, just having those more higher positive uh, states of being, right, the, the highest place you could be as your existence in this physical world, right, is actually already within you, that you don't need to acquire the physical material thing to actually already to, to get the emotion because the emotion the state of consciousness that energy is already within you biblically the kingdom of God is within you right um, so I just wanted to say that if you guys are seeking more growth more peace more love more happiness more joy these these higher states of being that we all want, right? This is the highest place you can be. It's not coming from pride or desire or anger, right? These lower frequencies. You're operating from these higher states of being. They already exist within you, right? So you look within yourself to get these things, right? Not looking without yourself to change the internal you change the internal and that will change the external your perspective will change your reality because when you're you probably know from experience when you're operating from a place of joy love unconditional love peace happiness love kindness right you're operating from this state of being which i would say when you're closer to god when you're close to whatever you believe in the high the highest power right when you're close to god whatever that means to you, whatever label you want to put up on it, when you're closer to that, you will be operating from these higher states of being. Grace, love, mercy, right? Unconditional love, peace, joy. You'll be operating from these because when I would say evil, right, if that's what we want to call it, these lower states of being where evil things happen, murder, you know, a whole bunch of bad things happen, right? We already know what those are, are coming from those these lower states of being of anger, pride self-righteousness right um i'm right you're wrong right coming from empathy uh, apathy depression sadness right guilt shame these things not from god lead to evil actions if that's what we want to call them, which i would agree upon right so again the kingdom of god is within you Right. So what does that mean is looking, look, looking within yourself for these, this peace, this happiness, this joy that instead of seeking the external to get the internal change, you can actually seek the kingdom of God within you. Seek God and seek these higher states of being and you will already have what you already wanted that you thought the external was going to give you. Right. But now you have it through the internal and I would say that you actually will attract it, right? Because like attracts like, this is basically the law of attraction. Like attracts like, uh, 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 birds that uh, are like each other flock together, right? When you're operating from a piece of a place of peace, joy, love, happiness, abundance, prosperity, tranquility, serenity, you're surrendered to the to God, right? You're gonna attract everything that you already wanted. Right? Because it's you attract who you are, not what you desire. You attract who you are, not what you want. So looking within yourself and changing that external being will attract exactly what you want. See, the truth is not without outside of yourself. The truth is within. 
gurus, teachers, this video, me, books, pastors, preachers, spiritual gurus, uh, whatever coaches, whatever, whatever. They give you a perspective from your perception that gives you a different, gives you something different to reflect within yourself. But ultimately, they just guide you, direct you, teach you, point you to looking within yourself. Because the truth is already within you because the truth is God. And God is within you. God, God is within your soul, right? You use your consciousness. The more that you, you, you look within, right, the more you'll find truth. Right, and this is something that I continuously see that this is what God's been putting on my heart, and I'll continue to seek truth. Right, don't take it from me like I'm God, right? Obviously, but something for you to chew on, to seek within your consciousness, seek within yourself, to pray to God and, and figure out within yourself is I don't believe God is self righteous, wants self righteousness, wants pride, wants ego, basically saying. You're wrong. I'm right. I don't believe that that's from God. I believe that's from the flesh. I don't believe that's from walking in the spirit. I believe that's walking in the flesh. Pride, ego, self-righteousness, saying this is the way things need to be done. This is what's right. This is what's wrong. I'm not saying that everything's subjective. I'm just saying I believe many times that man, pride, ego, flesh gets in the way of actually what God really wants, which is I believe the higher state of being, peace, love, joy, happiness, unconditional love, compassion, kindness, empathy, grace, mercy, right? I believe this is the, the place. And I believe that if everyone operated from this, it would be a perfect world. It would be basically heaven, right? But that's not, that's not the place we're in right now. Um, but that's coming from your state of being. Because if you're operating from the state of being, it will be heaven for you, right? And now I believe... What I'm saying is if everyone operate from this, right? The, the, the whole idea of sin, that's not coming from the higher state of being, right? And the whole thing around shame and guilt and things around sin, that isn't coming from God or from the being at a higher state of being either, right? It's in, it's in scripture. Paul said, right, the sin is from the flesh, not from the spirit. So if you're truly living in the spirit, right, being close to God and not walking in your flesh then you won't sin. Your Actually, the scripture, I, I, I don't have it right on top of my head, but when you believe in God, right, in the Christian faith, you believe in Jesus, you actually aren't the person that sins anymore. It's your flesh. It's different from you, right? Because that's your you are the soul. You are the consciousness. You are the spirit, right? You aren't the flesh. So when you sin, it's your flesh, not you. And right? that's from this Christian faith, right? And I, I kind of believe that's everyone, right? It's your flesh that's sinning, not you, right? And the closer you are to God, the less you'll sin. And if you're completely walking with God, you're not sinning, right? And if you do sin, that wasn't your soul. That was your flesh, right? So that's the video. It's something that was on my heart that I wanted to share with you guys. Just some different things for, again, you could speak these things and to a certain degree, they might be closer to truth coming from God, coming from the spirit, coming from the higher state of being, coming from consciousness, right? The higher consciousness, right? Coming from the Holy Spirit, right? Coming from this places, they'll be close to truth. But what I want, what I want to invite you to do is to seek this within yourself and seek this with God. Pray and meditate, pray and meditate, pray and meditate within yourself to find the truth, right? From your perspective and your experience, Right? And that's why I invite you to do from what I said today, to look within yourself and look and to talk to God about it, to figure it out on your own. Because that's where growth happens. Growth doesn't happen when you just take everything that people are telling you for verbatim, like it's God. Right? But you seek that. You use what they tell you. You seek that within yourself and within God. With, with God. Right? Cool, guys. That's the video. Uh, what I want to invite you to do as well is I just opened up a few different things. I'm going to put the link below. Success University, right, is going to be a one-hour class. It could, sometimes it might go over, but one-hour class, four to five days a week, Monday through Thursday, maybe some days we'll do Friday, uh, 11 a.m. 
PST, that's 2 p.m. EST, 1 p.m. Central Time, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, one hour. We're going to talk about success in every single area of life, right? We're going to talk faith. We're going to talk God. We're going to talk spirituality. We're going to talk success. We're going to talk fitness, family, love, relationships. We're going to talk money. We're going to talk business. We're going to talk freedom. We're going to talk about a whole bunch of great stuff in Success University. It's only $97 a month. And it's one hour with me in class with a whole bunch of people, right? Four to five days a week. Um, you can sign up with the link below. Second is I have a course, right? How to find your purpose and mission in life, right? That's $97 as well. It's a course on how to help find your purpose and mission in life. So if you would like to learn uh, and check that out, the link is below as well. And then also if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one mentorship with me, with Mission Driven, it's success mentorship where covering faith, family, fitness, finance, freedom, health, wealth, love, and happiness, right? Becoming more successful in every single area of life and turning your purpose, your vision, your mission, your goals into reality. If you're interested in learning more about that, you can click the link below to apply so we can hop on a call and see if it's actually a good fit for you. Other than that, guys, God bless you. God bless your soul. I pray <clears throat> but for nothing but love, happiness, joy, to fill your soul, to fill your body, to fill every single cell. I pray for nothing but health, wealth, love, and happiness in your life, not only in your life, but in your family's life and every single person that you come in contact with. I pray this in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you guys. I'll see you next time and peace be with you.